the Bucks got just enough confidence. Because, Skip, I was thinking once they got up to about eight in the fourth quarter, I said, okay, it's over now. You ain't got Giannis, y'all done. And they just kept that, and it's like, nope. Chris Middleton says, nope. Guys making shots. Bledsoe, George Hill made a few shots. They're like, no, we're not going away. We're not going out like this. We're going to go down swinging. And they were swinging for the fences. Give them credit. Give Mike Budenholzer credit, Skip. Giannis goes out, and Giannis was playing unbelievable. He had 19 points in 11 minutes. So we can sit here and say, well, would they have won if they'd have had Giannis? We'll never know. But the poise and the fight that they showed me, minus Giannis, explains to me now you get an opportunity to see, okay, now I see why they won all those games. They're a good team, Skip. They don't have household names, but the guys that they have, they fill a role, and they do that role exceptionally well. Yep. Chris Middleton showed you last night, yesterday afternoon, excuse me, why he's an all-star. Mm. He went and got, Skip, it was him, because this game was going to get out of hand. If he doesn't get heat check in the third quarter and get that 21, Skip, it's over. It's over. He couldn't miss. They couldn't do anything with him. But it showed me something. The Bucs showed me something yesterday. A lot of other teams, Skip, they had every reason to pack their bags and go home. They're down 3-0. Their best player is lost. Maybe, who knows, but we know he wasn't coming back in that game. And they stood and they fought and they lived to see another day. Now, I believe they're only going to live to see another day because I believe it's over in five, Skip. But they showed me a lot yesterday. Mm. So I want to be very clear about what I'm about to say. I would never try to make the case that the Bucks, in general, long-term, short-term, whatever, are better off without Giannis. Right. But against this team in this situation yesterday... They had a better chance of winning that game without Giannis. Because what did you just say? He scored 19 points in 11 minutes. Yep. They were down a point because, as you just pointed out, they get so Giannis centric against a defense that does make it very hard for him, especially right. as the game wears on. Right. He starts to wear out, they collapse more and more. They force him into some sort of jump shooting, some mid range, some three point shooting that he is not great at, and they they expose his flaw over yeah. time. Yes. So I believe that game was going the wrong way when he went out, just as it they're obviously down 0-3 already. Right. And on Friday, which, which night was it? Uh, yeah, Friday night, Giannis was 7 of 21 from the field. It just wasn't good enough, right. and they lost by whatever it was, 15 points. I think they lost by 15 on Friday night. Right. So... Not only did that happen, that that all those other bucks are all they're, they're all really good players. Right. They're not like superstars. Right. But Chris Middleton's an all star. Brooke Lopez is an all star. Made some big threes. Brooke Lopez Eric, made some big shots. Eric Bledsoe can be an all. He he can play at an all star mm -hmm. level. And by the way, Brooke Lopez saved the day in the fourth quarter. He did. Weirdly, because he made two big threes. That's about all he right. seems to ever do. And. And he got fouled with one skip with no time on the clock, and he got fouled and made yeah. both of those free throws. Made both of those. But Chris Middleton in the fourth quarter, after that salvo in the third, he goes 0 for 6 in the fourth quarter, and Brooks saved him, and everybody else chipped in. Mm -hmm. And then DiVincenzo showed me some real guts because he had two free throws to force overtime, right. and he missed the first one. And I thought, God, I'm glad LeBron didn't see it. If, right hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that he should have made both of them. Ooh. LeBron would have made both of them. We wouldn't even got no overtime. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. The first late game free throw shooter in the history of basketball. <laughs> DiVincenzo showed me something as still a young player to just say, give me the ball back. I got this. And he didn't swish it, but he made it mm -hmm. to force overtime. Correct. And then all of a sudden, Chris Middleton shifts back into high gear. And here he comes and scores nine in overtime. And he that's it. And he takes all their all shots. Their shots. <laughs> okay. okay. After 0 for 6 in the fourth quarter. It was a guts game. It, it was a heart game for what was left of the Bucs without Giannis. And then I'm going to disagree because Jimmy Butler, who I have great respect for, said after the game, we relaxed after Giannis went out. And you just used the word relaxed. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that was what was going on. I thought they actually played a little tighter on offense because all of a sudden they went from cute little underdog to, uh, you, you guys favorite. should yeah. do this. Right, right. And I thought they tightened up just a little bit over stretches where it's like, we, we should, we should right. put them away now. Mm -hmm. And we try and we try and we try and 
Tyler Hero came up big and over. Boy, he made a couple of big threes. Yeah. He, he's got close. Well, he gave him the lead. He gave him the lead. He came yeah. off a, of, uh, you know, bam, off a dribble handoff and gave him, and hit a big three. Right. But without Giannis, everything freed up for Milwaukee. Yes. The ball's moving. Mm -hmm. Everybody's involved. It, 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 whoever was open took the shot. There was no, should I give it to Giannis? Oh, he's right. not here. Right. And in, in the biggest picture, I liked watching their offense better without him. That right. doesn't mean the offense is better without him. Right. It just against this team is so well coached and plays so hard on defense, you can you can loosen up their defense by moving the ball. Better. Skip, you know this happens sometimes. We've seen situations where a deep well in football and the team is playing well and they got a quarterback, a pretty good quarterback, and he gets injured. And then the backup comes in, and he lights you up because you built your game plan to stop the starting quarterback, and you have no idea what this guy. That's a good point. <laughs> what you can't do. Their whole game plan is build a wall. Right. And all right. of a sudden, you can't build, build a wall against Chris Mills. Yeah, you're shooting yeah. it from. I ain't building a wall for Bledsoe and Matthews. No, no, <laughs> so, you're not. So now it's free flowing, and 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 they're getting they're getting shots. They get making shots. Um, Skip, and you, maybe you're right. Maybe they did tighten up. Maybe the angle, well, man, we should win this. We should win this. But, Skip, I just thought the defense that was normally there, they were getting clean looks. And, and for the most part, they weren't giving the first three games, they didn't give the Bucks clean looks. Yep. And the Bucks got some great looks yesterday. Now, Middleton hit some tough shots. That last shot, that dagger one, Skip, hey, 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 hey you just look at Spo like, Spo, what? I mean, what you want me to do, bro? You see, we got, we, he pulled up on both of us from 27. I don't know what you want me to do about that. I agree. <laughs> yep. So I'm not riding off the box, even if... if oh, they're they, they done. They did good game five. It's over. It's over? It's over game five. I don't think so. It's over game five. Can we, can we get a case on that? Well, we might. We just gonna, might. I'm going to think about that one. But Because Giannis is not playing. I, I don't be foolish think to he play. is. They'd be foolish to play Giannis. Yeah, have they ruled him out? I don't think No, I, no they haven't ruled him out. I mean, you don't give, him, give him treatment every couple of hours around the clock. But Skip, you know this happened before. You remember Grant Hill? Remember Grant Hill had that ankle injury, and he tried to play through it. Grant Hill, that ruined Grant Hill's career. Grant well, Hill was never the same. If you've torn ligaments in your ankle and you try to play through that, that's no good. Well, it's sprained, so something is going on. Let that thing heal, because you don't know, Skip. I, I, I don't look. He's in line to get max five two fifty, and come or go. And I, but I think Skip, had they lost yesterday, I think it'd have become abundantly clear to Giannis, man, we're not good enough. I may need to go somewhere else because the likelihood of me attracting a free agent in Milwaukee is not very good. Mm. I think they showed him yesterday, we okay, bro. We just need, we get you back. We can add a piece here, add a piece there. Mm. Skip, I don't think you're going to get another superstar. I don't think you're going to get, obviously, you're not getting another Giannis there. KD or one of these other top five players aren't coming there. Mm. But you might can get enough. You might can, I don't know who you're going to trade, but you might can get, you know, Give up some draft picks, maybe trade a player, and get a decent a, another a number three guy. Because mm. I think you know, yeah, they have two guys, but everybody's loading up with big threes.